everybody. It's Frank from Motivate here. I've got something I'm dying to show you. So this is a device that I've made, which is effectively, it's a Bluetooth device that has right now four different sensors connected to it. Let me start the car and show you something. Oh wow, flashing lights. However, if we come over here, we can see an app uh, right there called Gauges. So let's start that. Yeah, oh look, it says Motivate. Well, let's just touch this here. And right there, we are getting real-time information about the fuel pressure, the engine oil pressure, the manual transmission oil temperature, and the differential oil temperature. Right now it's in Celsius. Of course, it'd be very easy to convert it to Fahrenheit. So I've been driving with these two devices on my car for the past couple of weeks just to see exactly about how good the usability is. And I've come to realize it is kind of a pain to always put your phone in and start an app and because I've got it programmed so the screen's always on so I can see my gauges, it kind of goes through the battery a bit quicker. So really it's not all that nice. So we're just going to disconnect here. This is another device that I've recently just put together and today actually was the very first test drive. These wires here, as you can see, it looks like an OBD port, because it is, that hooks up to the car's CAN bus. So this device is on the car's CAN bus and it's also on the Bluetooth server. I mean, it's going to connect to the Bluetooth server. So let's plug it in here. So this happens when you've got all these wires because they can kind of get loose and uh, then things don't work as you expect. So we'll just try it again. There we go. Okay, obviously in the final version, it'll be on a circuit board. We won't have these issues. But let me show you what I have here now. So I have engine coolant temperature, engine oil temperature, air fuel ratio, and engine oil pressure. The gauges on the right side, those are ones, if you have a VHR, you really want to know. You want to know your oil pressure at a specific oil temperature. So if I just kind of get my foot on the gas pedal here, you can see they are quite responsive and they work quite well. So let me explain where the data is coming from. The engine coolant temperature and the engine oil temperature, that is off of the CAN bus. Uh, that's actually something that's broadcast in the CAN bus 100 times per second for other modules that are on the car. I have reverse engineered most of the car's CAN bus, so I'm able to sort of pick out that data. What's really nice is with those two, I'm not adding any traffic to the car's network. I'm simply listening to a conversation that is already taking place. So that's really quite nice. Now for the air fuel ratio, that is not on the car's CAN bus. I have to use a OBD service. So basically it's known as mode one or service one with a PID of 24 and 28 comes to mind um, for bank one, bank two. Right now this is just looking at bank one air fuel ratio. And of course our engine oil pressure is coming right from our Bluetooth server right here. Now in the final version, this would be a device that hooks up underneath the hood. So when you start the car, it will power up and we have the sensors wired directly to it. Most likely, people would want oil pressure and maybe fuel pressure if they're boosted. We can also add in other stuff like, you know, E85 sensors, stuff like that. Um, so that's the data that will be sent from here. Uh, currently, there's four sensors hooked up to it. It can support up to eight. And by the way, from here, each sensor is sampled and broadcast 10 times per second. So right now we've got 40 things being sent per second coming from this Bluetooth server, which is received over here on this side. Um, now for the air fuel ratio, the way I currently have it programmed is that we are asking for the air fuel ratio five times per second. And that seems to work quite well. The gauge seems to be quite responsive. So that's pretty good there. Um, if you're wondering, well, I don't need an engine coolant temperature sensor. Um, I, I've got a gauge on the dash. Well, the funny thing about that gauge on the dash, it's not very 
accurate. So, for example, from 70 Celsius to 105 Celsius, the needle does not move. Now, I can't remember what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll put it up in the, in the video. Uh, so you don't really know your actual engine coolant temperature because the dash gauge is designed not to freak people out. But the reality is, depending upon stop and go traffic, air conditioning on, ambient temperature, vehicle speed, your coolant temperature changes a lot. So because this is coming right from the ECU, it's exactly what is being used for all the fueling calculations. It's fairly accurate. Not exact, nothing is really exact, but it's close enough for what's required. So right now the ECU is telling us it's 95, 96 degrees Celsius, engine oil temperature is 92, I've got 18, 17, 18 PSI of fuel pressure, which is great. That means my oil galley gaskets are good because I need to have more than 14 at 80 degrees Celsius or 176 Fahrenheit. And the air fuel ratio is right there. And uh, when I've been doing some driving, it's kind of hard to look at the gauges while you're driving, but it uh, gets down about 12.3, 12.5 under full throttle acceleration. So that is looking pretty good there. Now this board is just a development board. Um, makes it easy to sort of uh, confirm what you think will work because <laughs> just because you think it works doesn't mean it actually does. So this way we can sort of put it together and see. And of course I've got different displays on here trying different things. Um, one other thing, this device right over here, that is a full size SD card. So this will also be able to do data logging as well. So the input sources going into these gauges is anything on the CAN bus, anything that's available through OBD, and anything, any analog sensor we have connected to our Bluetooth server. And all that can be recorded directly onto that SD card right there. So this has been a lot of work to get it working here and uh, it's working much better than I expected. I still got some things to sort of figure out some small glitches as we can see here on the right hand side of the number for the air fuel ratio. It's a little cut off. I just need to select a smaller font or move it around and get that part figured out there. Um, and uh, from there, we're going to get it packaged up into a nice little case. And uh, I got a nice idea of where we can put these gauges. So that's something else that I'll be uh, showing you down the road. So anyways, it's uh, been a longer video than I expected, but uh, I just want to give you an idea of what all this is doing here. And uh, I think it's going to be very helpful for all us guys who and girls who uh, <laughs> want to know more about what our car is doing in real time without spending a pile of money. As I'm thinking about it right now, this would be a do-it-yourself kit that you can put together. And uh, I still got some figuring out to do about sourcing parts because with COVID right now, that certainly has been a challenge. But um, the hard part is done. The schematic is done. The majority of the programming is done. And it's working quite well. That's all for now. Thanks.